We're here with Beth Rowley at Greenbelt. Beth, this is your, how many times have you been at Greenbelt? Three times. Three times. Three times? And yes. have there been any good? What, tell us about your process. What, 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 where have you played at Greenbelt? Because you've kind of, you're headlining this year. We're on the main stage, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. What um, was your first Greenbelt experience? Well, we played in the, the cafe. What's the cafe called? Oh, um, it's had various incarnations. 24-hour cafe? Performance the cafe. The performance cafe. We should have known that. Performance cafe. That was the first year. Yes. Yeah. Um, was that good? It was really good, yeah. It's really, a great venue. Really great audience, kind of chairs and very yeah. chilled. And, so that was cool. Um, and then last year we did the Centaur. Okay. Central, yeah. yeah. Um, Four thousand capacity, cool. and you filled it. Bit bigger, yeah. yeah okay. Bit Eight thousand capacity. I, it was oh, filled. No, no, I mean bigger than the cafe. I mean it was slightly, you know, step up. I felt. But there was still eight thousand there. That was <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and then this year. And you're yeah. playing where this year? We're playing on the main stage. Um, about five o'clock. How are you feeling about that? I really mean, to good. go from performance cafe to main yeah. stage is fun. Yeah, it's really good. Um, I'm very excited. Very happy to be doing it. It's um, fantastic. Very nice to be asked, but um. Yeah, it's cool. I'm hoping that it doesn't rain because obviously sure. the indoor ones are good because it draws people in if it rains, whereas this one is now yes. the opposite. So yeah. I people... used to rely on the rain quite a lot, you know. Oh. <laughs> people watching this will know whether it's rained or not, and I think it's been a fantastic gig. Now tell us about your album, your music. You've got you've had a very busy year. It's been good. Yeah. Tell us about your career. Well, um, I'm from Bristol and um, been doing like music since oh, I don't know, like 16 something different bands and whatnot. Um, and yeah, my album came out in May, Little Dreamer came out in May, and we've just been doing festivals yeah. and gigs. We've got another headline tour coming up in October. Yeah, various TV. So, TV, yep. Yeah. Is various, that fun? Various TVs. You were on Charlotte Church or something, wasn't that we right? We were on there recently, yeah. Yeah. It was good. I mean, I, I'm not, you know, it is what it is, you know, yeah, that programme. Yeah, sure. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan, but it's... It's it, exciting, though. It's good fun. She's yeah. really lovely, and um, she was very welcoming, and the band are great, and the song that we did is one of my favourite ones. Yeah. It's called, um, I'd rather go blind we did, so that was cool. Yeah. So it was, yeah, it's good. So tell us, what's what's your hope for the next year? You played Greenbelt, it was a triumph. What's coming up as you go into the autumn? Um, well, like I said, the tour, we've got another album okay. coming out. We're already writing for the new album, so it's going to be pretty busy. And is it a big doing. tour? Where are you playing? Um, Where can people catch you? Well, it's going to be UK, so kind of small, smallish venues, like three, 300 kind of, I like intimate. Yeah. Kind of. I'm still at a stage where I can, um, you know, I love, I really love doing those things. Sure, so, um, sure. So, yeah, yeah, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm really excited just about writing more stuff, you know, because the album was finished in December, so. Right, so you've got um, lots of tunes bursting to come out yes. and get... Are you going into the studio to record more? Yeah, we're going to um, just a couple more um, before Christmas and then okay. January, February, we're going to try and um, do more stuff. But it's just one of those things because like, you just have to promote like this album to sure. death. And like, We went to America last week in Berlin and we started wow. to kind of go spread it out a little bit more. So yeah. I reckon we're going to have to keep doing promoting this album for quite a bit longer. Yeah, so you're juggling all of that. Do you enjoy doing that, the promotion or the touring, travelling and then...? The travelling I love. Yeah. Because um, I love, it's just kind of like an unknown thing. Like I love, um, you know, like I love just getting up and not knowing who I'm going to meet and where I'm going to go that day. Which and are you able to write on tour and where do you best kind of, you um, know, get all that stuff out and down onto that? Yeah, it's good. I mean, I, I don't really ever sit down and write a song. Sure. It's definitely, I just have lots of little bits of paper and just like... I, yeah, I go on the tube a lot. I find yeah. that's a really, you know, lots of hot pickings, yeah. rich pickings yeah. on the tube. Yeah. And hot pickings. And hot pickings. <laughs> yeah, great. Pickings, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Beth, fantastic that you're here. Excited, one to watch. We'll keep in touch with the autumn and, and what's going on. And all the best with Mainstage tonight. Thank you tonight. very much. Brilliant. Thank you.